Forget Boeing and Airbus China's COMAC just flipped the aviation world on its head. What if everything you thought you knew about the skies was about to be rewritten? For decades, Boeing and Airbus have stood as the undisputed giants of the skies, commanding a near-total grip on global aviation. But now, a new challenger from the east is stepping onto the world stage, daring to disrupt the status quo. China's COMAC has just made a move that's sending shockwaves across the aviation industry. What exactly did they do, and why is the entire sector buzzing? Stick around because what's coming next could change the future of flight forever. This isn't just news, it's a revolution. It all starts here. COMAC, the new challenger for the crown. The Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, better known as COMAC, isn't just another manufacturer trying to build planes. It's a state-powered titan with one mission, break the decades-long Boeing Airbus duopoly. And their weapon of choice? The C-19 is a sleek, narrow-body jet built to take on the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320. But this story is bigger than a new aircraft. It's about reshaping the very future of air travel. Through cutting-edge engineering and a razor-sharp strategy, COMAC is making industry veterans ask, is the era of Western dominance over aviation coming to an end? Today, we're unpacking how COMAC is rewriting the playbook, what their bold strategy means, and why the skies will never be the same again. If you're as excited as I am to dive into this game-changer, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and share this video with every aviation fan and underdog lover you know. Let's get into it. The Rise of Comac. Let's set the scene. Boeing, founded back in 1916, and Airbus, created in 1970, have together dominated over 90% of the global market for single aisle jets, the workhorses of everyday air travel. It looked like nothing could crack their hold until Comac appeared. Established in 2008, COMAC represents China's answer to decades of dependence on Western aerospace giants. Powered by state funding and a fierce national ambition for technological independence, COMAC isn't just building planes, it's building a future. At the heart of this movement is the C919, a jet designed to seat between 158 and 192 passengers with a range of roughly 5,555 kilometers. It's a direct strike at Boeing's 737 MAX and Airbus's A320neo. After a successful first flight in 2017 and commercial service launch in May 2023 with China Eastern Airlines, the C919 has already stacked up over 1,000 orders, mostly from major Chinese airlines like Air China. China Southern and China Eastern. These aren't small numbers. They signal a seismic shift. China's airlines are betting big on COMAC. And it's not just about performance stats. COMAC has a massive advantage, a home market that's projected to need around 6,000 new single aisle jets by 2042. Add to that a price tag around $99 million per plane much cheaper than a 737 MAX or an A320neo, and you've got a recipe for disruption. But it doesn't end there. COMAC has bigger ambitions. They're already developing wide-body jets like the C929 and C939 to rival Boeing's Dreamliners and even the legendary 747. Is this vision bold or just overly ambitious? Let's dive deeper. So, how is COMAC pulling this off? It's not just about building a cheaper plane, although that's part of it. COMAC's success is rooted in a masterclass strategy built on three pillars. First, domestic dominance. China's aviation market is massive, already the second largest in the world and growing fast. Some predicted that by 2022, China would surpass the US in commercial aviation size. COMAC has near-exclusive access to this home turf, helped by government policies nudging airlines toward homegrown aircraft. During the 2024 Lunar New Year travel season, 
C919 utilization soared 40% compared to the year before, a clear sign of local support. COMAX production is ramping up fast, targeting 75 jets in 2025 and aiming for 200 annually by 2029. Second, competitive pricing and sustainability. The C919's lower price is attractive, especially to airlines operating in emerging markets. But there's more. COMAC is weaving environmental responsibility into its DNA. The C919 completed its first flight using sustainable aviation fuel in September 2024, aligning with global net zero emissions goals. While Boeing and Airbus scramble to retrofit old models, COMAC is baking green technology right into the build. Third, global ambitions. COMAC isn't just thinking domestic. They're eyeing Southeast Asia, the Middle East, and nations tied to China's Belt and Road Initiative. Indonesian airline Transnusa became COMAC's first foreign customer in 2022. Meanwhile, Saudi Arabia is exploring C919 assembly deals. COMAC is even rebranding the ARJ21 regional jet as the C909 to unify their product line, a clear sign they're serious about going global. But there's one big obstacle, global certification. Will COMAC clear the international hurdles? Here's why it still matters even with challenges ahead. Why this matters? First, it shifts the power dynamic. China's aviation market is simply too large to overlook. COMAC's share could hit 25% of China's single aisle market by 2042. Boeing is already feeling the squeeze. Cancellations in 2025 tied to ongoing trade disputes didn't help. Airbus, meanwhile, is hedging its bets with an expanded Tianjin plant. If COMAC's momentum holds, Boeing could lose even more ground especially if new tariffs choke American exports. Second, it forces change across the board. For decades, aviation meant Boeing versus Airbus. Now, there's a third player forcing everyone to innovate. Airbus is boosting production in China. Boeing is fighting to recover from the MAX saga. COMAX low prices and eco-focus could reshape strategies across the industry, creating more competition and better options for airlines and travelers. And third, it's about global clout. If COMAX succeeds internationally, it won't just be a win for Chinese aviation, it'll be a global influence shift. Think of what Airbus did for Europe back in the 1970s. Now imagine that on an even bigger scale, rippling through supply chains, trade and geopolitics, especially in emerging economies. The duopoly is cracking the future is wide open. Your thoughts and what's next, so what do you think? Are you as surprised by COMAC's rise as I am? Is this the beginning of a new aviation era? Or will COMAC hit turbulence trying to expand globally? Personally, I'm amazed a company founded just in 2008 is already rocking a century-old industry. It's like watching David take on not one but two Goliaths and the world's watching every move. I want to hear from you. Will COMAX soar to global dominance or face serious headwinds? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And what should we explore next? Maybe a deep dive into Boeing's fight to reclaim leadership? A look at Airbus's green future? Or maybe the mysterious rise of supersonic jets like COMAX rumored C949? Let me know. If you love this ride, hit that like button Share it with your aviation-loving friends and subscribe for more stories that take you sky high. Until next time, keep looking up. The skies are changing faster than ever.